Hello guys and welcome back to another episode where today I'm going to have a bit of fun and we're going to be doing a bit of house builder as always. Today's project is finishing off a student's dream as I believe I'm calling it this part of the series episode. This is the final part of the episode and I want to get this one done because I've got an even more cooler house build that's coming out. This one I released by accident before that one, so the, the scheduling got a bit weird. Um, I put out the wrong episode, one that was ahead of the other, before it was realistically practical to do so. So yeah, anyway, what you're seeing right now is me cutting the grass instead of flamethrowing it. Why is that, you might say? I don't want to, have to lay down any grass again. Um, I, I considered going scorched earth, but just cutting the grass, uh, the grass being cut does the job so it's a bit more tedious don't get me wrong but that's just how the world works in this way and i'm not going to complain with regards to having to cut the grass and the reason we're cutting it is because today's episode is going to involve the exterior of this lovely house that we've been working on and well let's be honest i'm looking forward to seeing the outcome anyway i already know the outcome obviously but i'm looking forward to seeing it in video because i talk while watching the video live um, our lovely editing software called Filamora allows you to do talkovers and that's what I'm doing right now. It's, it's fun watching it myself. Um, here's the secret guys. When I watch videos, I, I can't watch a video of my own voice in it. I hate my voice and that's just a fact. So yeah, not, not the best profession to have if you don't like hearing your own voice. Um, <laughs> So I usually hate editing, that's why I love the fact that if I do it this way, I can talk and know that I've got it right and jobs are good and Anyway, what you're now seeing is my usual cut down the trees and uh, let me let you a secret. Cutting down the trees isn't necessarily needed all the time, but sometimes it lets me think how I'm going to do the garden. Quite literally, it's clean slate work. So, do I like doing it? No, it, you know, they're, they're part of history. But when you're trying to do some work like this on a house, it's, it's important that you clean the slate. And that's what I'm doing here practically, you know, I'm not making any difficult changes to anything. Makes it easy. Anyway, I kind of looked at the decking and the floors and I was debating what I want to do with them. And I decided I was going to sell all of the current decking and have a look for some paving. And then kind of plan it out the way it is. And this is literally the easy part. Buying all the new paving for it, that's the easy bit. Lining this up, it's the hard bit. Having looking back at this, um, I could have used a 50 to do that. But, you know, we can make it work. Because when it comes to these kind of things, like paving a driveway or something like that, you you have a lot of stuff you have to do. And in this case, I'm actually just paving an entire perimeter. And, well, it's a bit annoying when you're doing this kind of work. Because you've got to lay everything down, get it all lined up, and it becomes a bit of a nightmare very quickly. And one of the things I want to just say, it's also matching them up. You know, if you accidentally turn them facing the opposite way, well, now they don't line up, and yeah, kind of has to live with it. And this uh, other build, um, I'm not going to say I did a great job because I didn't line it up perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> but with that said, we got the paving in, and I was kind of happy with it. But I have this common thing I do. I put gravel around the side of the paving material. Now, you might look at this and go, that's a lot of mess. There's not much straight lines to that. He's just throwing gravel down. There is a plan, don't worry. Okay, and I haven't gone insane. You know, it isn't a straight line yet. That's the key word. But you're gonna see in a minute how I make that into a straight line. You know what, theorize in the comment section below. How, how does he make that into a straight line? You know, Th that's the question I want you to ask, because how do I? Well, I'm not going to spoil it yet, but let's just say it's a bit of fun, you know, and right now it's just a 
go around, aim it everywhere, and then line it up. And here's how you make a straight line. Get some grass, lay it back down on top of it, and the grass is in a straight line automatically. How easy is that? And you just hold your shift click and you can rotate in 90 degree increments, always straight with the map. It is so good to have that kind of thing in place because look at this, right? That edge, clean as a whistle. Now, there is some limitations to this. It does become a bit of a you know, pain to do. And you can already see that I'm really taking my time making sure each angle is straight, lines up with each other. And it's not exactly a small job. <laughs> it's actually a nightmare. But once you do it, it's it's done, you know? That's it. Sorted. And that's the feeling you wanna have. A sense of relief. And even now sat recording, I feel relieved once it's done. You know, and I, I do spend quite some time lining these up. And that's not a bad thing. One thing I do hate, you can already see those lines there, that break line, but that's, that's just in the map itself. Can't fix that. When they did the grass layer in the map, that's what happened. And if you're wondering what I'm going to do with that little bit there, well, I originally went in with this, but forgot I had a different size of gravel. So then went down a size, found it still didn't look right, so went down a size again, and then it didn't place. So I had to get it back out and then place it and uh, it blended in again. I was okay with it. So I was happy. Now you might be wondering what are we going to be doing with the actual property? Well that's a great question. I always read in the game the comment oh it would be better with a sauna. Well inside the house there's not much room for a sauna. In the garden however that's where a sauna could go. Why do I say that? Am I going insane? Hmm. No, but what I do know is I could build an exterior structure that can be a sauna. In hindsight, it doesn't look the best, but it does work as a sauna. So give me your feedback in the comment section below on the aesthetic of it when I build it in a second. Now, bear in mind, it's, it's a work in progress, me and building exterior structures, right? I'm not the best at it, but I do put all my effort in. And I hope that becomes apparent. You know, I have one very... I have a, sorry, I have a very big project coming up soon that I'm looking forward to building on. And I'm hoping you guys will like it too, but until we get to that point, I'm not going to keep mentioning it, obviously. So, no no further spoilers, and this is also my hate, and I don't know why the devs are so lazy to fixing this. Like, we can't place a paving at the gate. Come on. It's, it's ridiculous. Just, just fix it already. They're aware of it, and haven't fixed it. Too busy making a whole new game. Uh, that's just me getting annoyed because I want my properties to be square and flush and uh, seeing the gap at the gate does wind me up a little. Anyway, let's, let's build the sauna. This is the interesting part because I haven't done a roof before this properly on my own. And as you can see, <laughs> I'm trying to work out how I get in there and like I always do, I'll fix one thing while thinking of how to fix the other thing. In this case, fix the gravel around it. While thinking, how am I going to actually get inside of this structure again? Hmm. Just put a door on it. It's easy as that. Now, hindsight is 2020, and picking a door is a big process. Um, and I'll be honest, the door didn't do it for me, so I had to find a different door. And picking a door is not fun. But I went with a front door and then I kind of debated it, took the building down and you can see I'm just adjusting the shape. Why am I doing that? So when I put the door on, I know right, it won't be as annoying, i.e. centered. There we go. That is the one thing that annoys me about properties and soon 
very soon. We're gonna have a property in which we can build a house ourselves. Clean slate. Can't wait for that. No spoilers are coming out on that. Anyway, back on target, shall we? A sauna. Well, here's the thing. Saunas are usually wooden. Usually... What's the word? Eastern European. You know, they're not, not a, a common thing. But as you can see, once I worked out the panel name Zebra, I got a pack of them. For some dumb reason, I thought three would do the job. I guess to some degree it could have, but we were one short on this bit, and then I thought I need to do the doorway anyway, so buying a pack wasn't too bad. And let me say this. I don't like the room all being that colour of wood. That's why I changed it, just so the floor stood out realistically. And then I was looking at what, you know, furniture there is that I need and I wanted to go with something fancy so we, we did and as well as that I wanted the room to be a bench around the entirety of the outskirts and well it looks nice I like it you know I put two of these ladles in and we got the lovely fire pit look at that You're telling me that ain't cool I mean this is like music while we've got that to do to it's great music for this exact bit but yeah uh setting up the rooms like this i enjoy a lot now you, some people do actually ask this why don't i check if the lights are on the same level there's no level to align them on and as long as i don't spend long looking at it i won't you know worry about it and yeah you see me here finding out there's a sauna door and then installing it and then regretting that because the panels. Because <laughs> the damn panels. You've got to be kidding me. This is why you're supposed to keep them until you've done the job. But I was happy with the sauna. I was. And I still am a, mostly happy with it. Um, I think there's some things I could have changed. Probably could have done with uh, a better structure style. Like, really? Brick? No one wants a brick sauna. If it's wood on the inside, would you want this brick colour for your sauna? Let us know in the comment section below, right? Tell me if this was a good or bad choice. I don't like the brick on it. And another mistake of mine, I've got a grappling hook, so why am I using scaffolding? More specifically, why did I go with that one? <laughs> So anyway, once we got the roof, I debated on which one, and we went for a pyramid roof, black top, just to try and match with the house, and I, I built the roof at first, and then when I got down, it looked a bit stupid. <laughs> Stupid's an understatement. <laughs> so I was hoping I could change it, having to like go up there again, but no, I have to go back on the roof, so I thought I'll get proper scaffolding frame this time. That's the exact height, go up, and I, I thought you could change the roof without having to remove it, but no. So I put the roof down, made it the exact same dimensions, and then stretched out one on each side. This still didn't do it for me, but at this point when I got down I said, you know what, leave it. If I, if I keep playing with this roof, project's never going to get done. And yeah, let's sell it. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. I hope you also enjoyed watching this video and we'll see you in the next video. I hope you look forward to it as I am. It's going to be great. Goodbye.